Hello learners welcome back this is Dr Anam and today we are going to study about the differences and similarities between elements and compounds what elements are elements are the substances that cannot be broken down by ordinary chemical processes into the simple units but compounds they are formed when two or more elements they are combined together so basically elements are the base and on the basis of these elements different compounds are formed let's study the differences between compounds and elements here elements i can give you the example uh, so that you can keep that in mind when you are studying the differences and similarities when we talk about the elements we have hydrogen we have helium or all the elements which are present in the periodic table in case of compound we have water we have salt water which is made up of hydrogen and oxygen and salt which is made up of sodium and chloride so let's study the differences elements they are made up of atoms if you remember my previous lesson i told you about the structure of atoms that atom has a nucleus and orbit inside the nucleus the protons and neutrons are present while in the orbit electrons they are present or revolving so elements will have atoms or it is made up of atoms while in case of compounds two or more elements they combine to form compound for example water we have hydrogen element and we have oxygen element they both are combined together to form a compound in case of elements they cannot be broken down into the simpler units like atom if you are going to break it down it's difficult but compounds they can be broken down into simpler units for example if we break down the water we will have hydrogen and we will have oxygen to represent the elements we use symbols for example h for hydrogen h e for helium and o for oxygen but if you want to express or represent the compounds you need to use a formula like here i have written h2o is actually the formula similarly salt we have the formula of n a c l all the elements which are present in the periodic table or all the elements they are listed in the periodic table while the compounds they are not listed in the periodic table elements they cannot be separated by the chemical reactions but compounds they can be separated by the chemical reactions elements they have specific number of protons and electrons for example hydrogen has one proton in its nucleus and one electron in its orbit so they have particular or specific number of protons and electrons in case of compounds the combining elements they lose their chemical properties um take let's take the example of uh, hydrogen and oxygen they both are gases but when they are combined together they are going to form a liquid which is known as water so there are some similarities between elements and compounds they both are the pure substances like elements they are made up of atoms and the compounds they are just made up of their combining elements now other thing is present they have fixed ratio of combining substances like i told you that hydrogen and two hydrogen and one oxygen it is going to combine to form one molecule of water similarly in case of element the number of electrons and protons they are specific the elements they can exist as solid liquid and gas so that the compounds it means they both can be exist in this form they both are made up of atoms elements they are made up of atoms and compounds they are also made up of atoms they can be found in nature and they cannot be separated by the physical method like filtration or crystallization cannot be used to separate elements and compounds so that was all about the differences between elements and compounds if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video